Hello, thank you for joining us. We begin our report in a New York City courtroom at the first ever criminal trial of a former president of the United States. Donald Trump is charged with 34 counts of falsifying business records in a case that has come to be known as his hush money trial. That's because the records that Trump allegedly knowingly falsified were related to keeping former adult film actress Stormy Daniels quiet about her alleged affair with Trump. Trump's former lawyer, Michael Cohen, paid Daniels, and then the Trump Organization reimbursed him, but allegedly cooked the books to hide it. Our Robert Costa has more from the courthouse where jury selection began on Monday. A history-making moment in Lower Manhattan this morning. Very honored to be here. Donald Trump had his rights read to him by New York Judge Juan Mershon, acknowledging he understood and officially became the first former president ever to stand criminal trial. During the proceedings, Trump appeared irritated at times and bored at others, even appearing to nod off at one point, later perking up when jury selection began, turning to face potential jurors as they filed into the courtroom. The juror questionnaire posed 42 questions, including if they've ever attended a Trump rally or if they follow the former president on social media. More than half of the 96 prospective jurors questioned today were excused, many after saying they could not be fair and impartial. This is going to be a difficult task because there is virtually no one who has no opinion about Donald Trump. Whether you voted for him or you voted against him, you still have an opinion about the criminal case against him. Trump is accused of scheming to funnel payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels through his former lawyer Michael Cohen. Both along with former aide Hope Hicks are expected to be called as witnesses. Prosecutors say it was an attempt to stop an alleged past affair with Daniels from becoming a scandal just before the 2016 presidential election. Trump has denied both the affair and making the payments. The former president slammed Cohen and Daniels on social media last week, calling them sleazebags. And today, attorneys with the Manhattan DA's office asked the judge to hold the former president in contempt and fine him $3,000 for violating a gag order. Trump also complained the judge rejected his request to skip court to travel to Washington in 10 days for the landmark Supreme Court arguments on presidential immunity. And he won't allow me to leave here for a half a day, go to D.C. and go before the United States Supreme Court because he thinks he's superior, I guess, to the Supreme Court. Robert Costa joins me now. Bob, not every day, of course, that a president, president uh, stands trial in a criminal case. Give us a sense of, you mentioned that it was historic. Give us a sense of what was happening at the courthouse throughout the day. John, at one level, it was historic, former president standing for a criminal trial. At, at, at another level, it was quite procedural today. The former president entered the courtroom, and it was evident the judge, New York Judge Juan Mershon, has already grown frustrated with the defendant, doesn't like what he's posting on social media, doesn't like the accusations he's making about the judge's alleged bias in the view of Trump, at least. And this trial is moving forward at a pretty steady clip. Jury selection could take a week or two, maybe three. Let me ask you about the debates over evidence. Um, what struck you about that in the back and forth today? What's, what's, uh, there's a real clash between Trump's legal team and the prosecution about what should be included here in the scope of this case. Is this about something that has to do with election interference in the eyes of the prosecution? Trump trying to prevent a scandal from erupting days before the 2016 presidential election? And would that entail a wide array of evidence and different kinds of players and witnesses being brought into this trial? Or is this simply about hush money payments Michael Cohen, Trump's former fixer, made to Stormy Daniels, the porn star in 2016? Is this about covering up in the eyes of uh, the Trump legal team or not maybe filing correctly a non-disclosure type agreement, hush money to a porn star? Or is this about a criminal scheme to make sure that Trump could win the White House. That's the tension here when it comes to evidence and how much should be included. Robert Costa in Lower Manhattan for us. Thank you so much, Bob.